So it's it's not as fast as an electric grinder, but it's a lot more efficient than hand grinding. If you're having to spin this with your hand, you get tired pretty quick. That's amazing in the communities. The women who, when they first arrived, some of them arrived with their stone grinders, the stone metates, which is more like a, a, it looks like a rolling pin, and then a stone base, and that's how they would grind their corn. Some women also have, if you want to look at that thing over there, that's a hand grinder that's been set up. Um, they got really used to hand grinding because they had to make tortillas daily. So they would grind the corn after it had been boiled with slick lime. They would grind it and turn it into a corn dough. And they developed some amazing <laughs> grinding muscles. So when we started working down there in some of the first workshops, I'm going to have to load this. Some of the first workshops, we couldn't believe how uh, this happened. Like the guys would try it and they'd grind it for a while and they'd, they'd do it really, really fast. and. Then they'd get tired and they'd stop, but the women would just keep going, 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 going. But still, this is Luisa in particular, eh? Yeah. Yeah, some that it. So you can smell that as well. Mm -hmm. it's starting to smell like. Chicago. So this can be used for other things, like Mike was saying, it doesn't need to be just cacao. Uh, we do other ingredients in this, achiote is one, uh, amaranth is another that can be ground in it. And the idea is to grind everything down so that it's ground as finely as possible and then pass all those ingredients through together in these grinders so that it comes out as a homogenous mixture. And something that's going on here that not everyone's aware of is that there are a lot of the, there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of volatilization going on. There's a lot of volatile compounds in cacao, so the aromas that you smell is because all those things are coming out into the air as it gets ground down. So this is also a way of conditioning the cacao. It does change the flavor by doing a pre-grind. If you were to just grind it once and mold it immediately, it wouldn't have time for some of those volatile compounds to escape into the air. And that's why in the chocolate industry, there's a process called conching that ends up heating ground cacao liquor and spinning it for 24 to 48 hours sometimes. And that's so that all those sharper tones, the way of describing those flavor tones, come out and you, you blend the different flavors in the cacao so it's a very smooth flavor. One thing that's interesting, we were talking about at the market yesterday, there's uh, a lot of people that really like our chocolate because it's not that way. Because it has so many different flavors hitting you at the same time. It's not, you can tell that it's not overly processed. You can tell that it's a freshly roasted whole cacao bean. And if we were to process it differently, it would end up being the same sort of chocolate that you can buy all around town. So our processing technique definitely adds a unique flavor to the chocolate.